Hi everyone. In this video, we will be looking into the work allotment option available in timetable module. So you can find a timetable uh, from academics and here you can see work allotment. So this work allotment is a like a shortcut that we have that is so if you forgot to assign the subject with the employee then you cannot do that uh, timetable allocation. So instead of going to administration human resource employee management from timetable itself we are having an option that is work allotment. So I am selecting the class as class 1 and here you can see under class 1 we are having two batches A batch as well as B batch. So in A we are having 5 subjects and B the same number of subjects are. And for the first batch all the subjects have been allocated with the employee. If you click that employee allocation you can see all the subject has been assigned with some employee. In the same way here you can see there is no subject allocated. So we can complete the allocation by selecting click. So we can complete the allocation by clicking on to that employee allocation. So here you can see for English subject there is no employee. So we can select the employee by the department name. So we can do like this. So in this way you can complete that allocation. So in some cases they'll be having multiple employees managing the same subject. So you can manage one more employee for the same subject like this. It means for social science we are having two employees. Same way we can complete this for the last subject. So now you can see if you go to work allotment then class 1 it is completely associated. So in this way you can allocate the employee for the subject for assigning the timetable. So that is the main benefit of this work allotment. So no need for going to HR module. From timetable itself we can manage the employee with the subject for the timetable allocation. So that is all about this uh, work allotment that we have in timetable module in fitting.